I think it's time you shut the hell up. What the? You talk? Yeah. Gang finally made it all the way to Niflheim. Now, as they walked through the area, they saw a bunch of soldiers pouring people infected with the SARS scourge in quarantine. Some buildings were being destroyed as well. To top it all off, we see kids beating the shit out of dogs while stealing their food just to survive. God damn, what the heck happened here? This kingdom looks like it's dying. Back when I left, sure there were some issues, but everything was fine. What the hell happened here? Well, well, well. Looks like Eagleus came back. And ooh, looks like he brought some interesting people with them. Ho ho ho, if it isn't the next in line for both the Oracle and the King of Lucis. It's the same what's happening right now, but we should discuss some things with each other, do a little research, and understand so many new things. <laughs> Excuse me? What the hell is this freak, Eagleus? This dog, now it's not the time for that. What's going on? It's what it looks like. The Star Scourge expanding further into Niflheim and many people became demon. I'm on my way to study these breathing specimens. <laughs> study them? But why? Don't you want to eliminate them? Why would I do something as boorish as that? Not being able to research the way the world works that's a sad existence if I do say so myself. To explain the song short words, he's a scientist that's hated by the people in Niflheim for all the time due to his real fascinations with gaming. Flashback. The star, let's say, was one of a kind. He was always curious and random different things. For example, one of the things he was very curious about was, why can't people fly the way birds can? Now, as a young scientist, he wanted to try very hard to break that fact and let humans fly. So he did some tests, and these start out by throwing people over the roof to see if they can fly, throwing coins from the rooftop to see if they can fly, making a vehicle with wings to see if he can fly. Now of course all those tests failed horribly, and due to the way it looked like in front of the public, he was ridiculed for being a weirdo. Several days later. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at this little piece of red trash here. Oh right, I forgot. Clifford technically can't speak, and they kind of can, but he can't. Well, we were just gonna have to rectify that matter. But for now, he would just be sad. I never seen a very big dog like you anywhere here before. What a freak of nature this is. <laughs> Ow, my hand, what the hell was that? You motherfucking bastard. Do you realize what you have done? You've completely ruined my experiments. Maybe you should watch me do your bullshit good for nothing experiment. Good for nothing? Ah, uh, I know what it is. Maybe you two freaks could actually be friends. Since no one wants to hang out with you. Boo hoo. <laughs> Take that back. Huh? Take that back? Why don't you make me? Ah! My arm! None of my experiments are good for nothing. You'll pay for what you have done. Blah, blah. Too bad you never get the chance. Guess what? You are the perfect test subject to see if this bomb that I've designed is still blowing you to bits with all your guts splattering everywhere. You will end up being completely disintegrated. <laughs> now, of course, from that huge explosion, many citizens of Niflheim came to check out to see what the hell happened. And this was the star's reaction. <laughs> the experiment's finally succeeding. All that tinkering finally paid off. Huh? What's with all that growling, red dog? He should be jumping for joy. That saved you from this buffoon. But don't think too much of it. Your existence is insignificant to study anyways. I think it's time you shut the hell up. What the? You talk? What's with all this darkness radiating from you? Ugh, you look so yummy. I wish I could ate that other kid too, but too bad he was disintegrated as you say. Oh no, the dog became a diamond. Call for help, run for your life. Oh, I think I wrote you off too soon. This darkness, your form, 
the way you talk, it's so fascinating. <laughs> the experiments I have playing right now, oh man, it's gonna be so exhilarating. What is that person doing? That degenerate, he's attracted to the gaming. You freak, I hope you die for this. Shut up, you feckless neophyte. Your howling is getting on my nerves. During that moment where Vassar was distracted, Eagles and a group of Niflheim soldiers came to the scene and killed Clifford the Big Red Dog. Of course, Vassar was not happy about this because he wanted to run some experiments on Clifford. But sadly, they stole that away from him, and this led up to him being summoned by the King of Niflheim himself. You bastard! You dare have the audacity to summon me after killing that daemon that I was going to experiment on? Holy moly, man! You got some balls to talk to the king in that manner. I'm so angry with you for being the one that actually killed him. And that's exactly why I summoned you here. You see, more and more daemons are being formed in Niflheim due to the effects of the Star Surge. What I would like for you to do is to study them and find out as much information as you can about them. Are you interested? That sounds wonderful. Perfect. Now you will be fully funded for this operation, of course. Don't fail me. I don't give a shit about failing you. I'm just glad I'm able to do my experiments now. Perfect. And if you're doing that, maybe you can take a look at another mission that no one dared to venture. The Legends of Adagium. Adagium, huh? Isn't that the legend of the mythical monster filled with the power of the Star Scourge? Yup. But of course, it's nothing but a legend. I highly doubt that's true. <laughs> we shall see about that.